You're doing very, very well, Thomas. I might take you on as my servant permanently. Will there be anything else, mistress? Yes, one more thing. Call Stacy and tell her that you won't be coming home tonight. I can't do that. Oh no? You can't? And you can't tell her why either. No excuses, lame or otherwise. Hi, oh, hi, Stacy. It's me. I won't be coming home tonight. I won't be coming home tonight. No excuses. I can't tell you why. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Hang up. Turn off your phone. So, is this you? Hmm? What? This. Is it you? Pushensky Novacek, Novacek oh. Pushensky. No, this isn't me. <gasps> Maybe you're Vonda. No, this play doesn't have anything to do with me. Mm, you're just peeping over the fence. You're just the writer. Oh, I'm sorry, adapt. But why do people always think a playwright has to be the people he writes about? Because playwrights do that shit all the time. You put me in a play, I'll fucking kill you. Can't I just write characters? Sure, and you just happen to find these characters in an ancient German s and novel, Herr Dr. Novacek. It's a famous book. Okay, so you didn't have an innocent instant when you were 12? No. In the library no. with a cat? No, again, no. <laughs> Maybe you're still waiting on your big moment. All right, all right, look, look. I thought this relationship was fascinating. Very rich, very complex. Okay. I, I thought the story was dramatic, naturally theatrical. Mm, it is the lady that protests too much! <laughs> Wait for me tomorrow in the birch grove by the statue of Aphrodite. At what time? You can wait for me until I decide to arrive. And don't come unless you found out about this Greek. Kiss my foot. <laughs> he kneels and kisses her foot. No, I love this moment like bang, kiss my foot. <laughs> uh, now you may put my fur on me. Sometimes today, I felt as if I didn't know the first thing about them, or this play. <laughs> Suddenly an actor turns to you and says, what should I do? Who am I right here? And you have no idea. You can't remember who you are, much less what they're supposed to be. Well, you just play the director. Uh, sweetheart, I want this part moving and tragic and <laughs> blah, 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 funny. And while you're crossing down, <laughs> you look at both sides right at the same time. All right, play the director, I'll, yeah, I'll try that. But maybe for Kushensky, you should try a little... I don't know, an accent or something? Oh, uh, be more continental? Be more continental, uh, exactly. Oh, sorry, uh, something continental. So, um, is this continental? Or, or is it um, idiotic? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little idiotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you didn't bring a frock coat along, did you? I did! Do you want to try it on? No, it's only kidding. No, I want to try it on and I'll help you. Beautiful. Is it real? Well, they said it's vintage. Siegfried Mueller, Vienna, 1869. I didn't even notice that. Three bucks, not bad, huh? <laughs> Woo! <coughs> Looks like it was made for you, too. How does it feel? It's good. Perfect fit. Well, it sure looks good. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um... I'm up for it, whatever. Why don't we try the first scene? You have the sides? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they got kind of destroyed on the way. And that's the whole script. How did you get that? I don't know. That's what my agent sent me. How did your agent get it? I don't know. Was I supposed to get it? What, was it top secret or something? It doesn't matter. Have you read it? Uh, yeah, I kind of flipped through it quick on the train. So, uh, what can we talk This is like base. On something, right? Besides the Lou Reed song, uh, Venus and Furs. This is based on an old German novel called Venus and Fur, singular, by Leopold von Sacher Massa. I bet you read German. I bet you read it in German. 
<laughs> well, I, I did, actually. Yeah. Anyway, the book was a huge scandal in 1870. Well, sure. I mean, basically, it's s and porn. No, it's not s and porn. You don't think it's porn? Or, uh, porn-ish? For, mm, for medieval times, I mean, 18 whatever. Venus and Fur is a great love story. It's a serious novel. It's a central text of world literature. Oh, I thought from the play it had to be porn, but anyway. You don't have to tell me about sadomasochism, okay? I'm in the theater. <laughs>